Hi there, and welcome back. I'm Keith, and welcome to the CTS CSE 289 capstone project covering the CTS, or Computer Information Technology courses. Um, this video series will cover topics from the CTS 220 course, Advanced Hardware Software Support provided by Durham Tech. All right. So, in this video, I'll be covering printer functions printer components and troubleshooting a faulty printer. So let's get started. Okay, so there are two popular printers related to this course that I'm only going to discuss briefly. You have your traditional inkjet printer and then you have your laser printer. You might be wondering what the heck these things are and what their differences are. Well, we will start with the inkjet printer. Uh, inkjet printer uses a type of ink dispersion printing method and don't normally provide the quality or resolution of some laser printers. Aside from that, they are very popular because they cost less and are considerably smaller. Plus, they can print color inexpensively. Inkjets today can give photo quality results when used with the appropriate paper. Inkjets include one or more ink cartridges. When purchasing one of these printers, look for one that has either two or four cartridge slots. You want one cartridge that is dedicated to black ink so that you can print in true black and save on ink. And the other ones should be reserved for color, like yellow, cyan, and magenta, or yellow, blue, and red. Um, the next printer we have is our laser printer. <clears throat> this printer is more popular today in businesses because it's able to print large volumes continuously with better photo quality. In a nutshell, laser printers are designed for high-performance printing using a combination of mechanical, electrical, and optical technologies to get the job done. Laser printers are ideal for, as a network printer when you have multiple users printing off of the same printer all at once. Laser printers require a lot of attention and maintenance in order to keep them running efficiently. There are extensive checklists to go through when you're detailing. Some laser printers only print in black, so it's important to read the specifications before buying one if you want to print in color. But of course, there is an increase in price for, printing, for, for laser printing in color. Okay, so now that you're familiar with the two common types of printers, um, I'll now discuss the printer's main components. Um, all printers uh, share common components, regardless of the type or manufacturer. So if you have a printer, take some time to examine it and see what you may find. So there are five main printer parts that you should be aware of. Um, the first one being uh, the paper feed. Now the paper feed is known as a tray where you store blank paper ready to be printed on. Some trays are designed to hold a lot of paper and even have special devices that help these that help feed special paper envelopes. Most issues associated with printers occur in this area. Um, paper is either improperly placed in the feed or there is a jam and some of the paper gets stuck causing a print error. Second, we have our ink cartridges or toner replacements. Unfortunately, printers don't print forever. They run out of ink or toner after a while and then need to be replaced. So the toner is usually located inside of the printer, accessible by opening a particular cover depending on the brand. Be sure to know how and where to open your printer to find where these ink cartridges go. Uh, next we have our control panel. Um, most printers come with one so that you're able to manually set up printing methods. The control panel is usually located on front of the on front and includes an LED screen with a few buttons to navigate its menu and also use to program the printer. Um, lastly, well, no, not lastly. Excuse me. Uh, typically, next we have our uh, memory card reader. Um, most printers have this, and or or a place where you can directly plug in a digital camera's memory card. Today, it's usually a USB port that works with most of smartphones and cameras. Lastly, we have the paper output tray. This component is pretty straightforward, but just so you know, it's where the paper comes out. And the paper is stacked up for removal. We don't really think of this as a, think of this part as an important component, but it's very useful in keeping your printer paper organized and undamaged. Okay, so now you know a little bit about the two popular printers and some of their components. But what if an error occurs? Where do you start the troubleshooting process? Well, there are a number of ways to go about this. Uh, the best place to start, I think, is by asking the user what happened. Uh, the user should be able to de determine what works and what doesn't work based off of the error. A simple question might be to ask, uh, can you print from the application? If yes, then there probably isn't a problem. But if no, 
then that raises a series of questions. Listed below um, uh, are a series of steps and that technicians will probably use to troubleshoot a printer. Problems can be isolated in, the, in one of the following areas. The printer itself, connectivity between the PC and its local printer, connectivity between the PC and the network printer, the OS or the printer drivers, and then finally the application attempting to use the printer. Um, so these are very broad areas to cover, but they should give you some indication of where the problem may lie. Uh, remember, um, when you're working, when you're troubleshooting anything, it's important to always be patient and to keep an open mind. Sometimes the problem is right in front of you, but you're so caught up with the idea of it being something much more, you may miss it. Um, troubleshooting is always a learning experience, and you may end up learning something you didn't know before. So, to quickly recap on this lesson, I talked about two types of printers, um, the inkjet and the laser. Uh, I mentioned some of the components that make up a printer. And I lastly discuss some ways to troubleshoot a printing error. Um, there's a ton of information um, on printing, and I wish I had more time to discuss that. Um, but so you know, printing is a powerful tool that we often take for granted. Um, we use a lot in what we own. I mean, just look around your home and your office. Chances are you'll find something easily that's been printed on. Okay, well that wraps up this lesson. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.